So in this video we're going to go over how to install and how to use malware bytes. A very great um, malware program, virus program, what antivirus, however you want it. Great, awesome, can't say enough about it. Simply open up a uh, new tab, we're going to switch out malware bytes. And that's B Y T E S, not B I T E S. So here we are, malwarebytes.com. If you come to their home page, scroll through here if you like, or free download top right. Okay, automatically comes up. We're going to tell it to keep. shouldn't take too long. We're just going to open it from here. Now during the setup, we're going to select English as our primary language. Terms of service. Um, advanced options if you like. Um, I would just honestly leave everything the way it is. Very quick setup. Now I'd just like to show over here, you can have this on your phone, um, iPhone support as well, on your Macs, wherever you like. I have it on my phone as well. Do a scan about once a week just in case. So here we are, finished. Okay, looks like it's coming up. Alright, so it's giving us a free 14 day premium, whatever. So now that we have it, we need to, well, I guess, I guess it should already be updated. We will go ahead and do a scan. Now what this will do is it will scan every file on your machine. Currently it's checking for updates. And it's going to do a pre-scan. Um, I'm not really sure what that entails. Uh, scan memory, that's in your RAM. In case you have something malicious running in your RAM that's not actually saved to your hard drive, this scan will find it. Um, something like that could be uh, just an active program with no hard files saved to the hard drive. Scan uh, startup folders in case you have a script in your startup folder that yeah, you may have deleted that bit, uh, the virus, but next time you start your computer up, the startup script's going to run, go out, download that virus, and you're back to where you were. Registry scan. This is where a virus or malicious software can change some registry settings to say, well, now your home page is a fake Google site, or your Facebook is going to a fake Facebook site trying to steal your information, or may give you random pop-ups. Scanning file system, this will take the longest. Now, this is actually going through all my hard drives, a few of them now, and looking at every file on here to make sure it's not a virus. And how it does that is it matches a um, it does like a one to one match. It'll look at the virus, look at the code, at least like a few lines of code on it to see if it matches anything in its database, which we got from here, the update. And then it's going to do the analysis uh, to basically kind of come up with what it found, and report home. So Malwarebytes' files are updated and. Um, Maybe they found something suspicious on your machine. It might be a zero or a day zero attack or who knows what, but it's going to report back so other people in the world are better protected. And there we are. It's finishing up now. I didn't think it was going to be this quick. Now down here it says uh, threat detected. So we have zero or correction threats identified. We have zero found, which is always good. You may have a few, and you may even have a few that aren't actually viruses, but they look suspicious. It uh, might be some kind of registry pack or some startup scripts you've got running. They're a little odd, but it'll do its pretty good job of finding everything. So there we go. Um, quarantine items. If you did have a virus, it's going to put it here in quarantine, and after, after it's in quarantine, really, you can delete it unless you really want to go through and analyze it. Basically, you there shouldn't have any reason to keep them, so I would go through and click your delete button. Reports, uh, it's going to show me the report for the scan. It's going to 
tell me some basics, some more advanced stuff. I'm on the trial version. Components, threat, scan. And then some of your settings. So in here, um, yeah, it's pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Notifications. You can change if you want to start up. You can change your language. Say you've misselected, don't want English, maybe a Russian, whatever. Password protected, you can turn that on. Well, that's for your server. But if you want your proxy server, so there's a password for that. User accounts. And then your protection. Startup options. If you don't want malware bytes to turn on automatically when you start machine, you can just click right here and it will change that registry file we talked about earlier off. But we'll leave it on because on is good. And scan schedules. So it's going to repeat once a day. Exclusions. So now, uh, more advanced option if you want to add an exclusion. We can say, well, this site may be bad, but I go there very often to do nefarious things, whatever. Some files, you may have some malicious looking files. Maybe you're running some kind of scripts for a game. You can add that file so it won't pop up on your report and constantly get deleted. Same with applications and all the stuff here. Account details. So again, we have a 14 day free trial. Um, I would say probably signing up for this might not be a bad idea. I don't, but if you have the money, go right ahead. And about will give you your version. So that's really about it. Um, it's a great program. I recommend you use it. And um, yeah, great way to stay protected for free. So any questions, please give me a comment down below or mail, message me directly. So that'll be it. Thank you.